I just wanted to show you some really nice functionality in Power BI that will eventually roll out to our existing higher education clients. This demo is currently in our development environment, and once we've tested it properly, we'll migrate it over to our production environment so it's available to all of you. In this uh, quick little sneak peek preview, you have been presented with a nice interactive dashboard with all standard Power BI functionality to filter and explore the data that they've uh, presented to you in this, in this dashboard. But unfortunately, it doesn't answer some specific questions that you have. So you could either go back to your team and ask them to create some reports for you, or you could interrogate the data yourself. Now, if you don't know Power BI functionality, then you can simply come up to this area and ask a question. So it's like searching through the huge amount of data that's sitting behind this dashboard, just like you would search uh, on the internet. So as an example, let's say we're interested in the uh, total expenses, revenue and margins for each of our campuses. So we'd simply type in total expense, total revenue, oops, and margin by campus. So it'll automatically generate a report for you straight away. Now you might not want a bubble chart like that. So let's say in column. So it's easier, easier to see. So that's just one example. You may also be interested in say your most profitable um, courses that you teach, subjects that you teach. So let's have a look at top margin by unit name. Now in this case, unit name is the actual subject that's being taught. So this will create, generate a chart with the margin for every single subject taught at the university and what the margin is for that subject or unit. Now, the good thing is, is that the questions you can ask can be quite complex and compound. So as an example, if we wanted to compare student numbers, so the number of students in each subject with the margin in each subject, then we can simply start typing in EFSL. Now, EFSL is an Australian term, an Australian university term. Just think of it as equivalent to um, the number of students, student number. In your particular case, whatever model you have, uh, this term will be related to what you use. So if you use student FTE, it'll be student FTE. But for this particular demo, we're using EFSL and margin by unit name. So this gives us every single subject taught and the EFSL and margin. Now it's a bit messy because it's got everything on it. So we can filter it down to make it a bit more understandable. So we can say where EFSL is between 50 and 100. So now we've filtered it down to only those subjects that have between 50 and 100 students in them. What we might be interested in is those with negative margin as well, so we can explore those a bit further. We can say margin less than zero. So this filters it right down to create a report that we might want to interrogate further. You can hover over each of these data points to provide you with a little bit more information on what they are. Now we can also go in and just do a little bit of Power BI functionality to fill in those dots so it makes it a bit more, so it makes it easier to see. Now the great thing is too, is that once we've created that report, we can go up here and pin that visual. This will pin it to the dashboard that we were currently in. Pin that come back here and so that's available for us now down the bottom we can just resize that and now we can share that with our team for um, for further analysis um, and um, and review and um, so all in all it's a quick and easy way to interrogate a very large and complex data set in a very simple and user-friendly way